Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number three. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to quickly grab all of the cars at the car delivery. We've got ourselves a Honda Civic. Let's claim that car, see what that looks like. Oh, look at that. That is a nice looking car. It's classic. It's a classic. When you see it drive out though, it's so much more satisfying. Uh, so we've acquired the black, the fit flint black metallic paint. Whoa, that was a mouthful to say. Right, and the other car we gotta get is a Berlinet RS Coupe from 1999. I don't even know this car. Oh, it's got four lights. Oh, that's cool. And it's in blue. Interesting. The paint items you acquire can be used. Oh, yeah, we know that. Awesome. Right, so next up, we are going to be moving on to a spec again we're gonna see what car we actually need so we need a lightweight K cup let's see our entry requirements um do we have any of those cars in the garage no right let's see what it is again so we need pretty much any Suzuki, Cappuccinos, Hondas, okay. Right, so I have a feeling that this car should work. The Daihatsu Copen Active. So we're going to buy that. It's going to cost us 15000 which is expensive. Very expensive for a car. Oh, look at that. That does not look like a pretty sight. That is not a pretty sight at all. Shining red paint item. Nice. That's very good. Uh, once we go back to the menu, we're going to have to go to the tuning shop and put on a couple of extra performance items. So I think if we go engine, we can get ourselves the ECU, which gives us an extra four brake horsepower. There we go, nice. Intakes we can put on a race, racing air filter. There we go, nice. Install. Uh, and exhaust. I don't think I'm going to end up putting a turbo kit on. It gives a meteor sound. There we go. Installation complete. Right, going back to the home page, we're going to be going to A spec for the lightweight K Cup. I've also got the car for the next uh, championship ready as well. I accidentally bought the wrong car. Um, but the next championship the car is eligible for. Uh, yeah, Japanese classics. But we're going to be doing the lightweight K Cup now around the Autumn Ring Mini Circuit first. Right, we are here at the Autumn Ring Mini Circuit. We've got a total distance of 200. Uh, 2.39 miles to drive. 239 miles would be a long way. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. It does have an alright sounding engine though. Surprisingly. It sounds okay. Ooh. Oh, we went very wide there. It doesn't like taking corners, apparently. Nice, nice. Onto the brakes here, get around this corner. Oh, we don't want to go too wide there. Come on, we got a, I think it's another Daihatsu in front of us. 
pretty sure it's a Daihatsu. There we go, nice. Onto the brakes through this corner here. See if we can squeeze up past the inside note. Oh, this is close. This is neck and neck. Awesome. On to the final corner. Going on to lap number three. I'm not going to make that mistake again like the last episode. Here we go, cross the line. 54 seconds for that lap time. Nice. I like how when you turn in this thing and accelerate, it does not accelerate anymore. Final corner. The cars are slowly catching up, but we're not going to let them overtake. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And across the line at 56 miles an hour. I think that gets the achievement for the world's slowest race ever. Like, ever. Slowest race you could ever see. 4,860 credits earned takes us up to 20,000 total. Nice. Right, we are here at Suzuka Circuit, the east course. This is a small sort of hair comb looking course. And we are going to be doing a total distance of 4.18 miles, which is nearly double the last race. So this is probably going to take a long time. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, I've just seen what's in front. Look at it! <laughs> oh, is that a Vauxhall? No, it's a Honda, Honda Civic. <laughs> That's the stupidest looking thing ever. Oh, To be fair though, coming out of the first corner in first place is fairly decent. Especially in this slow thing. I promise the videos are going to get more exciting. We're going to have faster cars. But to walk through the game, you have to enjoy all of it. You have to enjoy the slower ones and progress your way up to the faster stuff. That's what I love about this game. Obviously, some people don't like progression. They just want to go straight into driving fast cars and enjoying the game. But I love progression. I like a game with a good bit of progression in it. across the line with a 118.4 we're gonna see how much uh, how much faster we can make this next lap I wonder how 
many gears this thing has? I think it only has four. I wouldn't be surprised if we got to the end of the final straight at the end of the race and the car just exploded. This car seems like one that wouldn't last very long. Brakes, perfect. This is my one of my favourite circuits in Gran Turismo is the Suzuka. When you get like other games, I prefer circuits like Silverstone, like F1. Silverstone's one of my favourites. Uh, Yas Marina. Um, but in Gran Turismo, the Suzuka circuit takes the win just because it is so good. And the fact is, the handling mechanics of Gran Turismo works so well on Suzuka. You can flow through those corners like crazy. There we go, across the line. Nice. 4,800 credits. Right, so the car I have gone for, for the uh, Japanese Classic, is this Honda Civic 1500 three-door CX from 1979. It's quite a nice one. I think this is, um, I recognize this car, the, the shape of this car, and I can't pinpoint where, but it looks stunning for a classic car. It looks amazing. I want to actually see, are there any form of aero parts? There are wings. Oh my god, that looks disgusting. Why would you want a wing on that? Why would you want a wing on that? Um, so we can do an engine overhaul. Um, that's not going to be too expensive. Let's do that. I like how this is just like a pure comedy sketch. <laughs> there we go. Sorted. Um, and restore body rigidity. I don't think we need to do that, to be honest. The car should be fine enough as it is. Um, what we are going to do is pop over and grab ourselves some upgrades. Um, so let's go to the tune-in shop. And I think I'm just going to go for exhaust and engine for now. Maybe. Look at that. The car was at 77 horsepower before we even did the engine overhaul, so doing that engine overhaul's got quite a lot of power back into the engine now. Yes, install. Let's see if we can push it over to... no. 107, there we go. Yes, please install. And... The racing air filter as well. We'll chuck that in. There we go. Nice. And home we go. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see what races we have to do for uh, this Japanese classic event. Uh, beginner series. Uh, Japanese classics. So we've got to go to Suzuka... Tsukuba, I got it right this time, and the Grand Valley Speedway. Right, so we are back on the Suzuka Circuit East course. We are going straight into the race. Um, we've got a much more powerful vehicle than the last one, which is surprising because this guy came out like 30 years beforehand. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's go. Oh, okay, the car's been overtaken. That's not a good start. What is that car, though? They're going full wide on the straight there. Oh, okay. This car in front looks a little bit like a Jaguar. We may...
may have to, between this race and the next race, put a couple more upgrades in. See how well that goes. There's another Civic up in front though. Very nice car indeed. I love this Civic. Why do I like it so much? There are actually extra cars in this race, so there are 10 cars in total. But we definitely wore, wore down our tyre there on the front right quite a lot. That car's not fair. How does that get away with it? And a slipstream. Oh. Right, come on, let's see if we can get a little bit of slipstream on this car. little Civic. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's catching up. I want to know what that car in front is, though. It looks like a weird-ass spaceship. Oh my god, look at that. How is that legal? Right, on to the final lap. Come on. I know he's going to overtake. We're just going to have to let him. Because we are then going to go corner time. Send him off the road. Give him no space. He doesn't need space. Come on, come on, come on. Final corner. We're in the lead. We need to keep that car behind us. Nice, nice, nice. Are you staying behind? Yes. Across the line. Finish. That was a very good time. 3 minutes 40. How many credits did we earn for that as well? 5,730, okay. 22,670 altogether now. Welcome to the Sakuba circuit. The track length is 1.27 miles and we will be driving a total distance of 3.81 today. That was, uh, that was my attempt of like some serious voiceover. It didn't go well. <laughs> Let's go then, little Civic, we can do this. Oh look, it's Sandra Bullock behind me. Oh, no, she's lost places. Go, go, go! Come on, round the corner. Nice. Perfect. See, now these are interesting races because they're classic Japanese cars. These cars are classics and people will come to see them. The other cars though, the little old hatchbacks with like 40 horsepower engines, yeah, they're not so interested. Right, and onto the brakes.
perfect. We took that long sweep and corner very well there. Right, on to a lap number two. Come on, come on, nice. in front. I think it might be a skyline. Like an old skyline. What is that? It is... Oh no, it's the um, Nissan Fair Lady Z, isn't it? I think. Oh, they're catching up. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, that inside tyre. What happened to it? I think I just shredded a tyre. No. Come on, stay back. Come on. Yes. Ah, uh, these races get closer and closer though. There's a Fair Lady 240Z G. Ah, yeah. I I noticed that afterwards that it was a Fair Lady and not a Skyline. I felt really bad once I had made that mistake though. 5,730 credits to be added on to our total. Right, so we are here at Grand Valley East. Three laps. And I've treated the car to a special, a special treat. You can sort of hear it, and you can see it in the bottom corner. Uh, the car's now turbocharged. We put a turbocharger in it. Okay, it doesn't pull very quick just yet. Hopefully it picks up eventually. Oh, it is quick. It is much quicker. Look at that! Perfect corner through there. Awesome, nice. Right, onto the brakes again. And through the tunnel. Does this car have an interior? No, it doesn't. Oh, that's annoying. Nice. Nicely done. Right, onto the brakes. Awesome. Right, back onto the main street. That car up ahead is quick. Oh, it, it, that's why he's got no bonnet. 
that, that was a joke about his name. How are they so much quicker now? I put in a turbocharger and all the cars seem to get an upgrade as well. It's not fair. Nice, nice. Come on, speed. Speed is key. Nice, come on. That's, that's not really squeezing past, that's barging past. I think this car's front wheel drive as well makes it a little bit more of a nightmare. Oh my gosh, I've just seen the front of that car. It looks like a dead frog. I don't know why, but I've found lately, playing a lot more like Japanese games, that the Japanese are better at making games. They are the best at making games. The Americans are the worst. I will put that out there. And the British are, like, second. Like, those are, like, the three main places you get games from. But the Japanese, their storytelling is terrible. Definitely pulled to the left there. Come on, final straight. I'm just looking behind so that I can stay in front of this car that's trying to overtake me. Yes, that's how it's done. 438.3, the gap behind was 0 0.109 seconds. Wow. 5,730 credits. Nice. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places and also we have finally got merch down there so go check that out and if you want to help support the channel hit that join button it means the world to me and i will see you in the next one goodbye